In October 2004, Connie Neighbor says she was in a rut. I just needed to go do something completely different. So she booked a trip to Tanzania and visited the HIV positive children at St. Lucia Orphanage. I came with a group, a volunteer group. We came here to have a lecture on people living with AIDS and when I got home I thought, you know, I can help them a little bit. And by a little bit, Connie means she founded a nonprofit organization, Karama Connections, to help support the children. Within a year of her first trip, Connie helped purchase land, draw building plans, and break ground on a new orphanage. Well, I, it did happen really quick. And working on a project halfway around the world certainly wasn't without challenge. Number one, the language barrier. You know, number two, obviously, the distance. Number three, you have to find someone that you can completely trust. And you have to keep an eye on the finances. I've never had a problem with that. I keep a very good eye on it. But those, I think those four things are really the hardest things that you come up with. But to Connie, the children make every struggle worthwhile. And your heart just goes out for them. And part of it you don't understand because they're so happy, but they have no parents. They have a disease called AIDS. Sometimes they're sick in bed more than we would ever be sick in bed in our lifetime. There's something about them. You can't explain it. Now Connie spends two months a year in Tanzania, leaving her life as a hairdresser in Cincinnati far behind. Everybody walks slower and just everything's okay, yeah, we'll get to that. And it can be very frustrating as an American, but it can also, if you, if you allow it, it can be very healing and very rewarding. Although her passion for Africa seems endless, a few months ago the Karama Connection bank account dipped to its last few hundred dollars. And with today's economy, Connie is trying new strategies to ensure the sick children's long-term survival. We've started what we've called the 300 Club and we're just asking for a $10 donation a month on an ongoing basis so that I can be comfortable in this economy on having ongoing money just to support the staff. Uh, and food and just the basics. To support the children of St. Lucia Orphanage, email Connie at info at karamaconnection.org. In Arusha, Tanzania, I'm Tiffany Wilson, Palestra.net, The College Network.